I just know that I have some filthy neighbors just by the outside of their house, you know? Chopping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find Your house is the, the dream of the homeless. I'm over here crying, get through a work shift too sometimes, okay? But I can't even believe that I'm making this type of content. This, that, this, all of this. Say hi, YouTube. I don't know what it is about customer service representatives, but it's like when people hear them, they just automatically want to cuss them out. If you're going through it like me, I just want you to know, number one, you are not alone since you are not alone, okay? I never thought I would be living in the projects. And not that I ever thought I was too good for it, because as a child, I grew up in the projects. I thought that way because I have always been able to afford an apartment and pay my rent. I just thought I would never need assistance with that. I have been living on my own since I was 18. And from time to time, I moved back home with my mom, but it was always for a short period of time until I got my own place again. Then I left my hometown for two years, and my living situations were chaotic, but I was blessed throughout it all. Like, I was never homeless. Adulting is something I was never taught how to do. I jumped headfirst into adulthood and figured things out on my own the hard way along the way. I remember saying in the past, whenever I would hear about people living in the projects and for whatever reason would end up being evicted, I would say things like, shoot, I wish my my rent was $40, $50 instead of the $400, $500 I was paying at the time. But I had no clue what it was like to be in that person's shoes to judge them like that. Fast forward to today, here I am living in the projects now, and yes, the rent is based on my income, and I am so grateful for it, but it has been very challenging to be grateful for this apartment because of the environment. After leaving home for two years, when I came back, I stayed with my mom, and I assumed it would be like any other time. I would be there for a few months until I got my own place again. I ended up staying with my mom for four years. Until I got the call that I was approved for this apartment in the projects. I am so grateful to have a place with enough space for my family that we can call our own home. God knows we needed it. I used to think people were lucky who got into the projects because their rent was cheaper or based on income or even free. But I had no idea about the other factors that came along with that. The environment loud and filthy neighbors gunshots kids vandalizing trash outside roaches inside all of that makes me not want to live here and it is mind-blowing because i have come to realize that it is a choice living in the projects doesn't have to be this way it is just certain people choosing to live this way like the complex is nice and management really does put in an effort to keep it presentable but it's certain people the quality of people who just bring it down as tough as it is for me to say this right now, this is the best I can do. And that really punches my ego, but I cannot afford a four bedroom anywhere else yet. And despite all of that, this is better than all of us sharing one bedroom at my mother's house. The things God has me experiencing in this season living in the projects continually baffles me. It keeps me on my toes. Like you all just don't know, or maybe some of y'all do. But I must say it has also been transformational for sure. As extreme as the negatives have been, the positives have matched equally. Last night was a rough night though, because of bugs. And I keep my place clean, clean as possible. And it is not enough. Everyone in my building has to do their part. And unfortunately, I have some nasty ass neighbors. Like the things that I see on the outside of their house, I can only imagine what the inside of their homes look like. I wouldn't even want to go in their house. But 
As a result of last night, I decided to be vulnerable and share what living in the projects is really like for me. Because I feel like there is about to be a shift collectively. Times is hard right now for most of us. And that luxury aesthetic is not going to be what consumers want to see. People are going to relate more and desire to consume authenticity. I feel like there is not much content on YouTube that I personally can relate to. And relation is inspirational and motivational. And I feel like collectively, that's the source of motivation and inspiration that the collective will desire in the future. Not so much from a person living in luxury and aesthetics. I know I am not the only one going through or have gone through the things I am growing through at this present time in my life. And due to the lack of my being able to get on the internet and hell, even go outside in my real life and just find similar relatable representation, I have decided to become what I am looking for. I trust that this will all be helpful to others in the future who find themselves in similar positions in their life too. It's an apartment complex and it's just not dependent on solely me, you know, it's dependent on everybody who lives up in here. I have complained about those neighbors on the end with their trash outside their door. They still do it. I can't even believe that I'm making this type of content, but my spirit, (laughs) like, I feel like God is telling me, like, be authentic on your channel and share your journey, like, share what you're going through, like, this is the trenches that you are climbing yourself out of and trying to make the best of, and... As embarrassing as it is, it is still relatable content. And you are really trying to take this seriously, find your niche, your space where you're going to inspire and motivate people and, you know, help yourself all simultaneously. So I just got off the phone with my mom. Thank God for my mom. Like, I love my mom so much, y'all. Like, I just don't even know, like, what I would do. (laughs) Who? I don't even want to think about it. I just got off the phone with my mom, and she gave me a pep talk. She was like, it's time to go to war. What I went through last night, y'all, with these bugs in this apartment, it's, it's ridiculous what I've been going through. Lately, I don't know what I don't know if it's because the weather is changing, things are like heightening, animals, insects everywhere. Like, but mm -mm. so my mom is getting ready to come. I don't even want to go into details, y'all, because it's just just know that I'm dealing with a bug problem right now and I am about to get on top of it. So my mom is getting ready to take me to, she's getting ready to come bring me the car so I can go to Walmart. And I'm going to grab some things. I'm, I'm going to grab 
some more sprays, some some bait, some I'm just about to I'm just about to spend I'm about to spend a little money. Because I'm also gonna get like um containers, plastic containers, stuff with lids, you know, storage stuff for the house, our things. I guess this is just what my weekend is going to consist of. Cleaning, decluttering, spraying. Not what I wanted to do. Not how I wanted to spend my days off. But it's all good. I gotta do what I gotta do. I can't afford to move anywhere else. That's my reality. That's my fact. I can't afford to move anywhere else. Anywhere else I move is going to be a major downsize. And my children are not all like close together. I have a five, a six year old now, excuse me, a six year old boy, a 12 year old boy, and a 15 year old girl. None of them can share rooms anymore, y'all. Like, they can't. And even like my boys, my six year old and my 12 year old, my, my six year old is, um, he has like some developmental delays so he's a lot he's a handful and he needs his own space and my my 12 year old he um he has anxiety issues so he needs his space so even though they're boys i can't have them share rooms and you know needless to say my teenage girl needs her own room she can't share no room with me do child we just be trying to get along in this house. You feel me? But um, let me get get up. Y'all just pray for me, y'all. Because I'm trying to really muster up the strength to fight this infestation that I have no control over. Because I live in an apartment building. And I just know that I have some filthy neighbors just by the outside of their house, you know? I'm just having to go to like extra measures of cleanliness just to be comfortable. Like, it's crazy. My daughter slept in my bed last night. I can't have I can't have my children afraid to be in their rooms and uncomfortable. I can't have that. So but I also can't afford to pack up and go. The only place I can go is back to my mama's house, y'all. And my mama has a one-bedroom. Like, I mean, she has a three-bedroom house, but, like, one spare bedroom. It's, it's just... It's just a lot, y'all. It's just a lot. But anyways, I'm rambling. Let me get dressed. I cannot believe <laughs> that I got on this YouTube... I got on this YouTube platform... Fresh out the bed, head looking crazy. Over here talking to y'all like that. I can't believe I got on the camera looking like that. I looked in the mirror and I seen this side of my hair all smashed in from sleeping. I was like, Crystal, no, you did not get on the camera and start picking the camera and start recording content like that. I love my short haircut, y'all, but I need I need some color. I need some color. Ace. If I don't keep it like cute and curly and looking good, it, it gives it gives the wrong look. It gives it gives boy. It gives it gives what I want to give, honey. Y'all, all I do is this is custard. First, that was like leave-in conditioner. Now I'm using custard, so I just put it on my hands. And I just get it, get the custard just over the top. I don't put the custard on my edges. Then take my little sponge and brush. I hope y'all can see. And I just do this, y'all. I just do this. I just go around and around my whole head. I'm ready to get some color. I'm ready to bleach it so my curl pattern can loosen up a little bit. And, you know, it just look more feminine. 
it's finally grown out enough to where I can like go and get a haircut. Like, you know, a little fade or something on the side. Not fade. I don't like using the word fade because I ain't getting no fade. But, you know, a little taper back here on the sides a little bit. Just to, you know, make it really look like a, a haircut. You know, like, oh, she got a shortcut. You know? So, y'all will be seeing me do that soon. But I'm about to just do this and then lay these baby hairs down. And that'll be it. It'll be done. Mitchell, can you go on somewhere, please? Okay. Y'all, I am going to redo um, redo my wardrobe because I feel like all the clothes okay that ain't bad all the clothes that I have just ugh, like I don't like it I don't like it that's not right that'll work it's gonna have to work <laughs> My mama house y'all and she has this hanging up on her wall and i just really needed to read this <laughs> after the day that i'm having just where i'm at right now with my whole living wish living situation and it says please remember your job is the dream of the unemployed your house is the dream of the homeless your smile is the dream of the depressed your health is the dream of those who are sick beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity find something to be grateful for slow down it's the end of the day i'm tired i'm tired i'm not really sure where i left off at but we went to Walmart. I got a bunch of bins and I got a bunch of products <laughs> for these bugs. And then I went to Lowe's to pick up some stuff. Um, this like material that I want to use to cover up the vents and any like holes in the house that I can find. Then we went out to eat y'all. We went to Chipotle. 
and me and my mom, my daughter, my son, we went to eat. And then after that, we came home and we got to work. And my apartment upstairs is my bedroom, my daughter's bedroom, and my youngest son's bedroom in the bathroom and like the hallway closet. So I've already started like spring cleaning, going through everything, throwing stuff out, putting everything in bins. So nothing is like out where anything could like crawl on it or hide in it. Everything is up with the lid. I'm gonna show y'all everything. I just need to go back to Walmart tomorrow and get more bins and finish my hallway closet because the bins that I got don't fit on the shelves. So I gotta go get some smaller bins and I'm getting ready to do my room, which ain't gonna take long because my room is pretty clean and organized as it is. I just want to put the stuff that I have under my bed in bins and maybe like some things in my closet. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And then after that, I'm going to bed. Sis is tired, tired. I'm going to bed. I will see y'all tomorrow for the rest of this video. This spring cleaning slash, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this yet, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm downstairs. I wanted to come in and show y'all all of this stuff, right? This, this, that, this, all of this, 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 all of that, that, all, all of this, okay? Not them stools. But all of that that I just showed y'all, I just pulled it up out of this closet. This is my downstairs closet. It's underneath my steps, so it, it goes down like an angle, like a triangle, a point. And we are going to declutter. I'm probably going to get rid of like almost half of this stuff. Stuff I just got that I don't need. I ain't using, I ain't going to use. And I'm going to go back to Walmart, get more bins, and put everything away in this space so yesterday i worked on the upstairs and i'm almost done with that i just gotta finish my hallway closet and then 
today we doing downstairs working on this closet and we're gonna get to that kitchen okay but i just want to come in and show y'all that really quick i will see y'all later on in the day i'm about to get dressed and head on out the door all this stuff was in that closet y'all it's amazing how much you how much you can pack in a closet but when I tell y'all, I should have showed y'all before I pulled everything out, but I was in the zone. But when I tell y'all, all of this is going to look so good and neat and organized in here. Like, y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. There's also a hole all the way back there. And y'all, I'm going to go in the closet. Y'all see that hole? I got to plug that hole up and I'm terrified to go back there. <laughs> But that's something else on the list today, too. We got to plug that hole up so nobody can come visit us. <sighs> so much to do. So much to do. This is this is what it's really like, y'all. This is what it's really like. Before we went to Walmart, we stopped at Tropical Smoothie. My daughter had been talking about coming to this place. She went to one in Georgia and she came home and was like, mommy, we gotta get us a tropical smoothie out here. And I was like, girl, we got one. And she was like, for real? Oh, we gotta go, mommy, we gotta start going there. So this morning she was talking about tropical smoothie and I was like, I just surprised her and just pulled up at tropical smoothie. I got a detox smoothie, a green smoothie. It was really good. It was very sweet though. It was a little too sweet for my liking, but I drank all of it because I went about to waste an $8 smoothie. And then I got her, she got a, a sunset rise or something, something like that, I don't know. Then we went to Walmart and I got the beds and stuff, y'all. And then afterwards, I didn't come home and clean up anything. I was just so tired. I stopped and got me some Indian food. And look at this Indian food. Ooh, I love me some Indian food, y'all. I'm gonna get y'all close up on everything. <sighs> Mitchell's in the background. He don't wanna let me be great. But yes, yeah, samosas. Oh, I love samosas. The first time I ever had Indian food was in California. But as you can see, honey, I kicked my feet up on the couch. I left all that stuff right there where it was this morning and put on my favorite YouTuber right now. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all the naan bread. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But I will get back to that work tomorrow. I'm on my lunch break from work. When I tell y'all, oof. This job that I'm working right now, I'm so grateful for this job. Like, I'm so grateful for this job. I'm grateful to have a job, period. Let's get that straight. I'm grateful to have a job. I'm grateful to have income, consistent income, that allows me to maintain my lifestyle and take care of me and my children. And I'm also grateful for my job, not because it provides money, but it provides flexibility. Week by week, if I, if I need my schedule to be one way this week and the other way that week, I can do that. So that allows me to handle my business, go to any appointments that I need to go, take care of things, and still work. But when I tell you I don't like my job, like I don't like my job. My job requires me to, it, it's in customer service. So that means I'm dealing with people, I'm talking to people on the phone. And y'all know how people is when you in customer service. It, 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 I don't know what it is about customer service representatives, but it's like when people hear them, they just automatically want to cuss them out, you know? And I'm just in a space in my life right now where I just don't want to deal with negative energy. I just had dealt with somebody today that was just so nasty and rude that like, I just started to cry. Like, and not like crying like <laughs> on the phone with them talking like they didn't know that they upset me or, you know, bothered me um, to the point where I got emotional, but I was just, it was just like shedding some tears out of just frustration, you know what I mean? Like, the emotions, I felt these emotions and they had to be released right then and there. I just was simultaneously in my head talking to this, <laughs> talking to this man on the phone and shedding these tears silently, like, 
God, just please deliver me from this job because it's it's wearing on me. It's tearing on. It's 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 wearing on me. It's hard on me. Like, please put me in a position where I don't have to do this type of work no more. I just don't want to interact with humans and they acting like this. Like, I just don't. So, anyways, I don't want to ramble for my whole break. Hold on, I got to get this water in. I'm not about to allow that to take over my break. I'm about to go downstairs and make me a green smoothie. Something real quick. And, you know, aside from that, though, I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm having a great day. Look who is in their room. Don't turn the camera. You can see the camera is facing me, honey. Okay. She's How you temporary. feel? She's temporary. Okay. You know, you're welcome to sleep in my bed or, you know, on the couch until you feel comfortable and relaxed in your room again. Yeah, I figured you didn't want to take the PlayStation back downstairs. Hey, Mitchie. Say hey. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. What you in here doing? You doing a good job only playing with one toy at a time. I'm proud of you for not taking all these toys out at one time. Now, remember, when you finish the puzzle, clean it up, put it back, then get something else, okay? Another reason why I'm ready to get off work, y'all, is so that I can finish organizing my closet. I'm so excited. And let me show y'all downstairs. I made a lot of progress. It's about to get dark. I got me some new light bulbs so I can fix my hallway light. Okay, so it's going to look like a lot. <laughs> but... Not this, but this, and and most of this is going to go back into my closet. I'm sorry, it's dark down here because I gotta fix. I gotta put new light bulbs in. But I I know it still looks like a lot, but I promise y'all, like I threw a whole lot away. The dim light is like irking me right now, but. I got rid of a lot of stuff and I'm just ready to put everything away. Like put it away, put it away. And then I have to, I have to do a lot of stuff in my kitchen. This, this is, this project, let me tell you, spring cleaning is hitting hard this year, okay? Let me get in here and start on this smoothie child for, I don't get the one thing I want to get done. My 32 ounce 
and that thing on us good now. Cause I really want my my juices to be like a juice, liquidy. Do y'all unplug y'all appliances? Like, or do y'all leave y'all appliances plugged up? I unplug mine. I try to unplug everything, honey. To save on the light bill. Look, you got trash up here. You can't be leaving no food and stuff out. No, 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 honey. One thing we will not do is invite you. Be inviting you up in here. Mm-mm. I look at it, I, I try to look at things <laughs> positively and when it comes to living in the projects and having to deal with them little, them little boogie bugs, I tell myself, God is teaching me how to keep my home, even though it's not like I was a nasty person before I moved here, but you know, God is teaching me to keep my home very, very clean. I'm going to go back upstairs because it's like... So I can learn how to prepare for a house. That's what I was trying to say. Let me go on upstairs. <clears throat> Look at my window. Oh, some fresh air in. Whew. I just want to take a moment to just boost out before I go back to work. <sighs> and pray a little bit. And yeah, I will talk to y'all later on. But um... If you're going through it, sis, if you work in a job like me that you hate, but you got to do what you got to do because you got to pay these bills and take care of these kids and take care of yourself, even if you don't have kids, you know, we live in a society where we got to work for the things that are free. But um, <laughs> if you're going through it like me, I just want you to know, number one, you are not alone, sis. You are not alone, Okay. I'm over here I'm crying, get through a work shift too sometimes, okay? But just just have faith that things are going to work out in your favor. I say that to myself all the time. All things align, and I always work it out in my favor. Right? Even if it's bad, it's good. Even if I lose, I win. So let me just have my little woosah moment before I go back to work. It was all a dream. I used to read word of magazine. So pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hang your pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, back to back, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on block and stop. Way back when I had the red and black rubber jack with the hat to match. Remember rapping dude? The hard, the hard, you never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight cause I rhyme tight. Time to get paid, blow up like the world trade. Four center, the opposite of a winner. From the one I used to eat sardines for dinner. For dinner. I used to eat sardines for dinner. Yeah. Beast of Raw G, Brucey B, Kick a Brick. Fight back the flex, love bugs, start ski. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. All the clips, same number, same hood. It's all good. Uh. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. This is what I have going on so far, y'all. So back there are my space heaters. It's about to be hot outside, so I don't need them no more. If you can see back there, I plugged up my hole. And I just have my suitcases, all my luggage right there. And so far, we are on the right path. Um, so this is what I put in bins. The top bin is all my paper towels and toilet paper. Um... I just love that it's all in there. I ain't got to worry about them crawling on that channel. And then the bottom two is just like my stuff, y'all. Just like my stuff that I need to go get in the closet and get out, you know, get out the closet. That's that's what's all about.
worked up a sweat, honey. Okay, y'all, so my closet is done, like. My closet is clean and organized. I plugged that hole back there so can't nothing crawl up in there and get up in my stuff. I have just the things that I need. And these two bins right here, this is DVDs. And that is like my tool, my drill, my hammer, my nails, all kind of stuff. Just, you know, in that box. Paper towels, my hamper for downstairs, my mop right here water cat food hang up the jackets and a clear top shelf for whatever that's going to be for in the future the only thing i gotta do is get a container for this this is like our hats our gloves our scarves and stuff i'm gonna get me a container and i'm gonna squeeze that right back there on top of the suitcase beside my little bucket and i feel so good about this closet y'all like Whew, it's gonna feel so good to just, you know, knowing that that hole was back there and that any and everything could be crawling up in there. It really just, you know, ugh. but now I feel a little bit better because the hole is plugged up and everything is like up, you know what I mean? And it's all easily accessible. Like get my paper towels, my tissue, my things that I need out of there. You know, I made sure I put the stuff that this one right here is right here because I'll go in this one more than I go in that one, you know. And, yeah, it's just space for everything. I just feel good about y'all. So, now, I'm about to straighten up this living room and go upstairs and work on this hallway closet. here y'all because we are already at 40 minutes but this is the hallway closet the finished resort i still have so much more stuff to do i'm just gonna save that for the next video so make sure that you are subscribed so you get your notification thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all on the next one